welcome to another episode of Mr. and Mrs. Chi. Um, this week, uh, I'm basically doing some uh, networking around my house. So uh, basically, my house are all um, wired. So what, what do I mean by all wired up? Is uh, all the rooms in my house are equipped with a uh, Cat6 socket. Basically, I'm testing out my router, the internet speed of the actual router. So let's take a look. Okay, so on the first reading here, I have 521 megabytes of uh, up download speed and uh, 465 upload speed. So which is not so good um, because right now I'm going through the ViewQuest LinkStar modem to my ASUS modem to my laptop. So probably the speed will just uh, varies a bit. Uh, as you can see just now, the speed goes from uh, 700, then go down to about 500-ish, then it stay constant over there. So when do speed tests, I will just uh, do a few speed tests uh, to get the average readings. Uh, anyway, my speed for ViewQuest is uh, 2 gig. Um, what they do is they, they split out this 2 gig to 1 gig on one of the port and the other one gig share amongst three of the port. So which means technically you can't have more than one gig uh, for per connection. Uh, for my setup, I, I split the one gig port to my router to split it equally amongst all the rooms and uh, all the connections. The other three we share uh, one gig amongst the three port for more of uh, my own uh, work purposes. Uh, the second reading was 479 download speed and uh, 460 upload speed which is considered okay because right now like I said my connection is uh, through the ASUS to the LinkStar modem that uh, ViewQuest gave me. So what I have on ASUS is uh, I've connected to the living room, to my master bedroom, so which means all these connections share a 1 gig uh, bandwidth. So why the speed doesn't reach the max is because the bandwidth are shared amongst all the rooms there. So right now as you can see, uh, I do all this setup by myself and all the custom cable that I did and uh, well labored. So what I'm saying was this was the link star modem that ViewQuest gave. So you see the white white cable here is the loose cable so this port the, the first port is uh, one gig and there are three other ports we share another one gig so which means uh, you cannot get two gig left readings is out 505 and uh, 320 upload speed which is not very good left. so I shall try to restart uh, restart my modem so while we're starting, uh, I shall give you a good look of uh, what is the cable management that I managed to do for myself. So uh, I didn't engage uh, other people to do because I know some of the cable management stuff so I can do it by myself. And uh, if you have any problem, you can just uh, ask me. Lah. I can uh, help you as much as possible. Lah. So first thing first, um, you won't get this. Uh, this will be uh, subjective to whatever service provider that uh, uh, you sign up for uh, ViewQuest in particular will have this uh, link star which is two in one. That means your optic fiber and your your LAN cables are all inside this one device, and uh, a phone cable also over here. So which means uh, you don't have a ONT box like Singtel or Starhub. That means all come in one device itself like that for ViewQuest in particular. And this is how I set up for my. Uh, internal uh, internal networking all these are angled angled uh, LAN port LAN cable to all these port that I labeled myself with uh, label maker so I know which room goes to which socket here so all are well labeled and uh, any problems with the uh, internet I know which cables to plug out and uh, service, do the servicing uh. So after 5 minutes, the router and the modem is uh, 
ready fire up and uh yeah so let's go for another round of the test and we'll see what speed we get and uh, hopefully it goes so well so as you can see it's not very ideal because yeah right now i'm just uh having the raw data from the modem to to my laptop lah. so uh, what I will do now is just unplug the fiber and uh, try it again and see whether I get the speed that uh, I signed up for and we'll see later so um, just plug it out yeah signal loss and uh, put it back so while waiting for the router and modem to start up, I just uh, briefly said um, some of the cable I brought it off the shelf and uh, some I, I DIY'd it. Yeah, for this short cable here to the modem, yeah, I, I DIY'd it myself. Um, just get a row of uh, uh, Cat6 cable and a cream for the head and this uh, crystal head for Cat6 and we are good to go so uh, the color color layout is uh, very simple you just uh, you can just google it online and uh, get the colors right one good thing about uh, DIY all the cables is uh, you can get all the, the perfect length that uh, you want so you don't have excess cable uh, dangling here so you keep the place uh, more neat and tidy So as you can see, after all the resetting and uh, plug out and plug in, so I get the speed as promised by ViewQuest. So uh, my network is good to go. So right now I'm just uh, proceeding to connect up all the necessary wires and uh, check it out on my room. So right now I'm doing the rerun and um, the speed seems alright. I get the full one gig through my ISOS router, which is nice. And uh, upload speed looks good. I'm done, done, done. 900, please. Yes. As you can see, this is the second room. Uh, I can I get the custom cables to my router here and uh, wire through. And let's test it out. And uh, let's see. Let me refresh and uh, begin to test. 800 is good. It's good enough for me. And it's just past 900 meg. So this is the the master bedroom. I got it installed under my console. So the same cables connected to my browser and to my computer. So uh, let's do a test. So as you can see, um, the networks are doing good and uh, performing as expected as uh, ViewQuest mentioned. So yeah, it looks good uh, wired not much of a problem okay so as you can see uh, it's not that hard to configure a, a wired network around the house so there are a few advantage of uh, doing a wired network uh, one is you get the speed as uh, advertised if not close to and uh, secondly is the interference you don't have the interference because you are all wired so because uh, when you run wireless either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz they are prone to interference and uh, there are walls uh, around the structures of your house uh, to reflect all the connections so you tend to have a lower internet speed using wireless uh. so for your mobile phones tablets no choice they can't really be wired I suppose so yeah there has to be some uh, wireless uh, connections around the house and as you can see I had two routers for a five room flat one is over here the other one is on my uh, in the middle room so 
I have a quite uh, big radius for uh, wireless connections just for smartphone I believe and uh, all the computers the TVs and uh, whatever devices I have with a uh, LAN port I get them all connected to a wired solution so uh, basically that's all and uh, yeah I do get the speed as advertised by uh, ViewQuest and this episode is not sponsored and not paid by them and neither do ASUS and I'm just doing this for uh, bringing all the information to you guys and decide uh, what service provider you get and uh, how are you going to uh, work around the obstacles or the, the issues around the house because I have a lot of friends uh, having issues with uh, new BTOs because uh, they, the, the routers is in the DB box over here and all the way back to the master room you don't have any connection or maybe you have a bad connection which affect the internet speed so that's why it's uh, for me I felt that it is important to get a second uh, router or maybe a repeater uh, to, to extend their connections for your internet so yeah that's all for this episode and I hope you like it do subscribe for more information like this around the house I suppose and uh, yeah I will keep you guys updated and thank you for watching bye bye